this week we are going to build this Bluetooth speaker. It has two 3 watts speakers and it is powered by a Bluetooth receiver. I'm going to show you how to construct this. But this is a 3D printed model and I finished it well to give it a professional look. If you would like to see how I did this, please check out the link by clicking on the top right corner. These batteries are called as 18650 lithium ion batteries. I salvaged these batteries from an old laptop battery. You can make power banks using the same batteries and if you'd like to know how I made my own power bank, please click on the link below. Each battery is of 4.2 volts at its highest charge, but usually it delivers about 3.6 volts. The milliamp power of each battery is around 2200 milliamps. Although it is rated at 2200 milliamps, it will give you roughly around 1600 milliamps. So I connected all these in parallel by connecting all the plus terminals together and the negative terminals together. I just made sure that this is bendable so I can attach it to the back plate like this later. This is the circuit board that is going to charge the lithium ion batteries. It has two battery terminals which will be connected to the battery and then two output terminals which will be connected to the booster circuit. It has a small micro USB port on this side in which you can connect a 5 volt source, possibly your phone charger. Yes, you can charge the, your Bluetooth speaker with just your phone charger. This chip has overcharge protection circuit and protection from short circuit as well. This is the voltage booster or step up circuit. It receives battery terminals over here, the plus and minus respectively. And on a, the other side, there's a USB port which delivers constant 5 volts. But we don't need this USB port, so we will desolder it or just connect wires over here and take it to the Bluetooth circuit. The Bluetooth runs off 5 volts, so this would be a perfect match. This step up voltage booster requires an input voltage of 0.9 volts to 5 volts. So if we use the battery for long enough and the battery voltage depletes, this voltage circuit will be able to bump it up and give all the juice required for the Bluetooth module to keep going. This is the Bluetooth audio receiver module that I ordered from China. It has the PAM8403 audio amplifier and here is the Bluetooth antenna. These small sticking wires I just connected for testing purposes. But while connecting inside the speaker, I will desolder them and connect the speaker wires over here. If I flip the board, you can see here there are different markings given over here. This R- minus and R- plus mean that they go to the right plus and minus uh, terminals of the speakers. This left minus and left plus is also given here. Also here there is plus 5 volt and ground connection given. So you can connect the output of the booster circuit directly to here. I begin by first connecting the battery to the back door. I have designed these clamps to hold the batteries. Because the positive terminals are faced on either side, I run a wire to connect them together. The battery pack is complete. We will come to it later. Two spare wires are connected to the input terminal of the charging circuit. I will be connecting these wires to a micro USB breakout board. This is the breakout board with all leads named properly. We just need to solder the VCC and ground leads. The rest can be left as is. The breakout board acts as an extension cord for the charging module. Testing with the phone charger confirms that all is working. I strongly urge you to see the recommended video on the top right corner to see how the LEDs are connected. I secured the breakout board to a slot that I had cut while designing the 3D print. Because this is the place for wear and tear, I used a lot of hot glue. Here I am connecting the speaker wires to the Bluetooth board. I 
I attach two wires to the USB terminal so I can connect those to the input power of the Bluetooth board. The Bluetooth board gets stuck on the side. Now I can connect the batteries to the charging circuit. Before closing the enclosure, I check if all is working. The power LED lights up because I have connected it between the charging circuit and the booster board. So when I press the switch, the power goes from the charging circuit to the switch and then from the switch to the booster board. It's almost night now, so I used a torchlight to film. All the wires are tucked away properly. I used a little bit of cotton to increase the base. Now I can close the enclosure with the back door. With that, the Bluetooth speaker is complete. The STL files of this project is in the description. Please download it. Also, a video explaining the finishing process and all related videos are linked in the description. My Instagram handle is at MrJCRP. Thank you for watching. Until next time, happy learning.